This is not nice now. We need to get out of here. Hello again guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm out in the glorious Peak District with Lee from Bucko's Adventures. I've got a new tent to show you, which is the Flames Creed Lanshan 1. So here's the pack. Um, if you haven't seen my video of me putting this together yet, I'll put a link in the description below. So me being me, I made a few changes to the setup again. Most notably, is the tent. So I've managed to get hold of a Lanshan 1 from Flames Creed. So we'll give this a bash tonight. We're expecting a bit of wind and rain, so we'll see how it performs. So the stakes that come with it are like um, MSR mini groundhogs. This seem okay. So there's a ground sheet down. So the tent comes in this decent little stuff sack like a dry bag really so you can compress it down door side goes that way tie out so I've just got a loop in and then there's like an adjuster for that intention I'll stick them over the same pegs as the ground sheet basic structure tied down and we're just going to put the trekking pole inside so I've got my pole set at 120 centimeters I've not read the instructions as usual but it worked all right when I tested it the other day so there's a reinforced bit on the tent here just inside and then there's an eyelet there for the bottom of the trekking pole to fit inside And this should just pull up, and then we can stake it out. So now I'm just going to go around, tighten things up and make it look pretty. As you can see, it's not very taut and it's not pulled out in the middle at the minute. So when staking out, it's always good to follow the seam of the tent and then stake it out in line, whereas this one isn't. Right, so that is a tent all guide out. Looking remarkably taut considering. I know it's not blowing a gale, but nothing on the tent. So if anybody else has got the Lanshan one, can you tell me what this little blue cord is for? I'm guessing it ties in there to give you a little bit more wind stability, but I'm not sure. Right, it's gonna rain later. So apparently I've got to seam seal these joints here. So I'll pick some sill net up on the way and I'll do that in a bit. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Vestibule's massive. So the doors just easily roll up. And then like most tents, there's a little toggle here. There's a trekking pole, as sturdy as anything. Two way zip, and there's a space inside. It's double skinned, looks like there's a decent gap between the outer and the inner. Although I have been told that these tents suffer from condensation. So we'll see how we get on with it tonight. All right, so I'm gonna blob a bit of this seam sealer on. Break the seal and just squirt a bit over the stitching. There's one done. I'll just work my way around all of these joints. So that's all the seam sealing done. It's not pretty, but it's done a job. Sleeping pad and quilt all set up. Just gonna set up my kitchen, think about getting some tea. So part of the camp kitchen today we've got a lightweight folding table from Alp Kit. Never set it up before so I've seen Andy Beavers has got one of these and it works brilliantly for him. 
can't be that complicated if beavers can do it. Sorry, Andy. Not a big fan of the orange bag. I guess you're not going to lose it, are you? So there's the tabletop and a couple of legs. All right. How do you do it? Uh huh. It fits. But it is like the Krypton factor. So that goes there. Some of them two. And that's going to go in there somehow. There's one side done. It slides in, in that little latch. Job done. There we have it. Table. So for the cup kit, I've gone back to basics. The Trangia. And a simple pot stand made of two pieces of steel that just fit on top. Got a basic windshield just to go around the outside. Doesn't come much simpler really. Won't be too long before we're getting a gorgeous sunset. Look at that over the back of Kinder Scout. I have a little bit of tent envy. Bucko's got himself a Z-Pax duplex. This is um, Dyneema composite fabric or Cuban fibre to you and me. This is like a palace inside. I don't reckon much to that sleeping pad though. <laughs> I do like my creature comforts. The view along the Great Ridge is stunning as always. It's getting a little bit breezy but this tent looks pretty good in the wind. Time to get a little bit of dinner on the go. I'm using the Alp kit, Mai Tai 650. I'm going simple with the Trangier. I think this is a 27 model. Lighter. Fuel. Forgot I'd pack these stoves as well. I'm not going to use them though today. get any easier than that does it it's a bit breezy so i am going to put the windshield around it that is looking gorgeous It looks like we're going to be tested sooner rather than later. It's raining. Only lightly though. Today we're having spicy pasta arrabbiata. And I'm just going to chop up a pepper army in it. Flames have gone a bit wild with the wind up. Not what I was expecting inside. I'm just going to use my knife to lift off the stove pot and I'm going to snuff out that flame before it burns the tent down. Sunset's looking epic. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. The duplex looks really sturdy as well. See why they call it spicy. There's the last of the sun. Bucko's taking it all in. Always does that. So I've had a little bit of a tidy up. I've hung my pack onto my hiking pole, just using a little carabiner so it keeps it off the ground tonight. I'm going to get my head down now, so we're expecting rain and a bit of wind. So hopefully the temp performs okay. I'll let you know in the morning. Forecast rain, but not this. Not really heard any thunder yet, so some distance away. 
Rain's starting to come down a bit now as well. So I'm gonna get back in the tent. We've decided because of the lightning we're gonna we're gonna tap out. Um, it's not it's not really safe being up on top of a hill, so we're gonna pack up and we're gonna get off the hill. Right, so the storm's really bad now. So as you can see we're packing away as quick as we can. This is not nice now. We need to get out of here. No, we're doing it really wet. Pretty horrible now. Just gonna get the tent in a bag. But we're almost packed up. This isn't nice. But he's better to be safe than sorry. Right, I'm not sure if you can see that. But we definitely need to get off here. We're all packed up. But we don't want that in the tent, so it's not worth it. May as well go home. It wasn't forecast. It did say it was going to rain, but we didn't expect this. So we're going to get off. We're off the high parts now, so we should be safe. It's only about 20 minutes down to the car. All right, so we've made it safely back down into Edale to the car, but we definitely made the right call to get off that hill. Uh, it forecast rain, but there were none of that um, on the mountain weather forecast for lightning or storms. Big thanks to Bucko uh, for joining me on this one. Uh, wasn't quite a pl as planned, was it, mate? So that's it for this video, signing off from a stormy Edale, I'll see you in the next one.